Good morning. You'll join us getting rid of an exploding hoover. Which I'm now going to wheel all the way to the dump. I'm going to hoover the pavement as I go. No, that's not working. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of... Trophy Stupid Vlog! It's Windy Q. I now have no hoover. Well, I do. I just don't have a broken one. <laughs> Come and explore the autumn. And take pictures of leaves. <laughs> There's lots of them, and they're on the ground mostly. Maybe take a spooky tour. So we're going on the Halloween bus tour. Look how spooky it is. Have a look in the back. It's a hooded driver. For your safety and convenience, there is an emergency button in the ceiling above your head, but this is for emergencies only. <laughs> she came with the Queen and her entourage into the gardens, and Daisy had a fine upstanding fiancé who went off to war. But one day, Daisy got a letter to explain that he would never be coming back. It was all terribly sad. And they do say she walked across the, uh, along the boardwalk here towards the pond, very early one morning, having got this terrible news, with a letter in one hand and a lantern in the other. She was dressed only in a nightdress. Poor Daisy, she was broken-hearted. She walked towards the pond, which was seen now on the left-hand side. And poor Daisy, she walked up to the edge of the pond, she stared into the water, and feeling so sorry for herself, she threw herself into the water, never to be seen again. In the desert. Nowadays in the desert, you have QR codes. So you can learn about giant thingies. Bully fish. This is chasing everyone around. How trippy is that? It's the evening light at queue. The sun should be setting in about 25 minutes or so and then the gardens close 20 minutes after that. So might actually be here in reasonable darkishness for once. Now parakeet attack. The only way to travel. It's just coming up to sunset. As you can see. Over in Sion House. Sion House there. Setting over there. Pink clouds over there. This is what the badger's den is like at night. Come on in. Something just flew past me. I don't know what that was. Well, the garden's closed in 10 minutes. And the good news is we're five minutes from the gate. <laughs> so we won't have to sleep in the badger set. Which is both disappointing <laughs> and good at the same time. <laughs> it's two minutes to six and it's getting dark. And there appears to be a car parked. Oh, and squirrel. And that gate closes 
In about 90 seconds. Well, I mean, to all intents and purposes. I haven't been letting anyone in for half an hour, but um, that's the last point that let you out. Um, then they make you sleep like a tramp in the gardens after them, or like a badger, depending on your preference. It's quite dark. There's a pagoda in there somewhere. There it is. Where we've come from. That's how you do Halloween. Plenty of pumpkins, and they've covered it in like cobwebs and skeletons. Good work. The best I've seen so far. This lot, no effort, zero points. Hello. Um, you might have missed yesterday, but um, this is our third Sainsbury's in three days. So uh, yeah, Sainsbury's. I think you owe me some. I think you owe me some bucks. All we're trying to do is find two moderately sized pumpkins, which doesn't sound particularly difficult, except that today's Halloween and they all sold out on Friday. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. Come on. So we've done Sainsbury's shopping, and so far we have the jack-o'-lanterns. Now, the observant amongst you will realize that those are watermelons, but um, who cares? I mean, you know, green, orange, it's all the same. It'll work fine. Uh, welcome to the new spooky living room with um, jack o' lanterns and uh, glow in the dark ghouls and some scary balloons. That's, that's as far as we've got, actually. He's definitely the pièce de la résistance. He's awesome. I'm going to attempt now to make. A jack o' melon. Yes, because it's much scarier. It's like a zombie head. It's green and, you know, melony. Welcome to melon carving, attempt one. <laughs> These eyes are slightly different sizes, but I think that's kind of charming. Yay, done! So here's the final spooky jeweled jack-o'-lanterns and um, glow-in-the-dark ghosts. Nice weather today on the new roof. November weather. This is a very nerve-wracking live insert. Um, Toby's over in Oxford Street right now. Um, I'm playing Bruno Mars here in Global HQ in Leicester Square. I hope I don't screw this up. Yeah, Toby goes live at 17 minutes and 30 seconds past. So very shortly indeed. <coughs> okay. <coughs> 
There's no top on that light spit, it's just the same one as before, isn't it? <coughs> Bruno Mars and the Lazy Song, right, here we go. Bit of practice in there. <laughs> <clears throat> Great song from Bruno Mars and the Lazy Song. So, the Oxford Street Christmas lights being switched on tonight. I think it's time we go live to Hearts Toby Anstis and the Saturdays as they light up one of the world's most famous shopping streets. Are you ready, ladies? Take your place by the plunger. Big countdown from 10. Here we go, folks. The lights so are going keep on this in, in at ten, one, yeah? yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! It's funny, all the people you get in, and you must think it's like that Basil oh, Brush. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Lindsay's is like, I don't understand if they miss. It's amazing how they get life at. Nando's club reformed because it's Lindsay's birthday. Are we? Who's that? Who? We're missing that Geordie bitch. Oh, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I'm glad she's gone. Yeah, I don't remember her. No. What, what, what did she do? I think she worked on Choice. On Choice? Yeah, did that online. Oh, yeah, choice. that's right, that's right. Uh, Rings a bell. Yeah. Something like uh, Sherry Manson. That's the one! Yes! Sherry Manson! <laughs> That's gone here. badly wrong. Happy birthday to Just waiting for a stranger to offer Lindsay happy birthday greetings. That keeps happening. 